Welcome. This is a recent project I did. Um, you'll have to uh, bear with me with the voiceover. It's not a thing that I normally do. Uh, anyway, this job. We had to remove all the cement mortar, turn around any damaged bricks and repair any that we couldn't. As you can see, above the door and to the left of the door, it had some 80s repairs. These were saved in the 80s, thankfully. There we go, there's your repairs. A few battle scars. We were gonna leave those in. We weren't gonna try and make it look brand new. We wanted to show some of its history from the 80s. The bottom there area, they need a lot of work. So here we go, cement removal. Ugh, the dirty job. Thankfully, this wasn't too bad, actually. A uh, little run through the grind, but most of it popped out. No damage to any of the brick edges at all. Nicely raked out to 25 millimetres. The wash down, the best bit, the clean bit. No more hate from the neighbours, no more dust. As I said, lots of bricks needed repairing. You can see they're blown out with the cement there. I had to change quite a few. We didn't damage any bricks, we used them all, we had to replace one. Deep reed point, lots of areas, especially on the roof line and underneath the window. You could put your hand in there. Here you go, this is along the bottom. Yeah, loose bricks, didn't want to jiggle them around too much, keep them in situ, a nice deep reed point, a couple of layers at a time, come back, final reed point. Here you go, top of the roof line as well. Lots of areas here, deep, you can stick your hand in as you can see. Uh, yeah, always seems to be an area that's uh, quite vulnerable on these older houses. So we'll deep repoint that so we don't move too much and then rake out a bit more, repoint, and then final repoint. There you go, they're reset, up and down, but that's how they were. <laughs> reset as well, bricks put back in, original bricks. Repointed in there. Okay, so time for the proper repoint. I started at the bottom, it was a Saturday. I couldn't be bothered to go up and down scaffolding, to be fair. Here we go, starting from the top, working our way down. Very pleased with how it's coming out. As you can see, it looks beautiful. Good choice of sands. Lots and lots of hessian. Some will come around about three o'clock to about seven o'clock. Kept nice and damp. Being local, it was easy for me to pop in and out on my push bike, give it a water down. Working my way down. Covering up as I go. A little bit, cover up. Brick repairs, all with NHLs that is. That's all NHLs. So you do the brick repairs, leave those for a good few days, shape them up and repoint. Final stages. That's it. The house of horrors as it was called by the locals. The grand reveal. I must say, I enjoyed doing this job. Uh, yeah, probably one of the oldest houses I've worked on, and uh, yeah, I think it came out lovely. I think everyone's very happy. A commemorative coin for 70 years for Her Majesty, tucked in there. So, thanks for watching. Hope I haven't bored you too much, and um, yeah, contact billbright.co.uk. Thank you.